So uh, when we first saw your deep dive request about this XTX markets, I got to say we were kind of stumped. Yeah. It's like, here's this major player in finance, right? Mm -hmm. And neither of us had really like dug into their story before. It is interesting how under the radar they've flown, especially given their growth. Seriously. Yeah. So before we get into it, let's set the stage a little. What does XTX markets even do? Imagine like computers making thousands of trades a second, reacting to like the tiniest market blips, all based on these crazy complex algorithms. That's XTX. High frequency trading. It's the Wild West, but with algorithms instead of cowboys. Exactly. And they're not just playing in this world. They're dominating. But what's wild is they're not some old school institution. Yeah. XTX was founded in what, 2015? 2015. Incredibly young for finance. Right. Like showing up to a high stakes poker game with a whole new strategy and just cleaning up. They've gone from like startup to global powerhouse with over 200 employees oh. all in under a decade. And they're based in London, right in the heart of it all. And it all goes back to the founder, Alexander Gurko. He was at GSA Capital before. That's actually where XTX was born. A spinoff that really took off, huh? But get this. Gurko still owns 75% of XTX. That's almost unheard of with a company this big. It says a lot about their culture. This isn't just about profit. It's Gurko's vision for tech and finance. He's not just along for the ride. He's driving. Okay, so let's talk about their rise. By 2016, just a year in, they hit the top 10 liquidity providers in the foreign exchange market. Right. Liquidity provider might sound jargony, but it's key. You need buyers and sellers in any market, right? Right. XTX is like the middleman, always ready to buy or sell, keeping things moving. And to be the first non-bank to crack the top 10 that quickly, the FX market has always been these huge banks, tons of resources. XTX comes in with algorithms and a leaner structure, and suddenly they're competing at the highest level. It's like they found a secret entrance to an exclusive club. And it didn't stop there. By 2018, they were the third largest global FX liquidity provider. It's their tech, their speed. In high frequency trading, milliseconds matter. They're analyzing data faster and more efficiently than anyone. Like the Formula One racers of finance. And then 2019, they hit the top, becoming the largest foreign exchange spot liquidity provider globally. It's not just speed, though. It's that their algorithms are anticipating the market, finding patterns others miss. But here's the thing. As big as they are in FX, they haven't stopped there. They've realized their approach works elsewhere, too. They're diversified. Equities, fixed income, commodities, not putting all their eggs in one basket. They're positioning themselves to be major players everywhere. They're not just playing the game. They're changing the rules, like expanding into U.S. markets, launching their own U.S. equities platform. That was a statement. The U.S. equity market is huge, competitive, but XTX didn't hesitate. They went for it. Probably saw it as the ultimate test. And so far, it's working. It is. But there's another part of their strategy, becoming a systematic internalizer, or SI for short. Uh, for those of us who don't speak fluent finance, could you explain that? Sure. It basically means XTX can be its own mini exchange, matching buyers and sellers internally. Instead of using a traditional exchange, they're making their own marketplace. So they're cutting out the middleman by me becoming the middleman. Exactly, and it's brilliant. All right, before we get into that more, let's take a quick break and we'll be right back. So wait, XEX can just connect buyers and sellers on their own, like a private stock market. Yeah, basically, and it's working for them. 2018, they became an SI for European equities. By November 2019, biggest one by volume, still on top. Wow. But it wasn't just about getting bigger, right? You said something about regulations. Right. See, SIs came about because of new rules in Europe, trying to make markets more transparent, more competitive. And this is where XTX's strategy shines. They didn't see these rules as a problem. They saw an opportunity. While other firms were freaking out, XTX was already ahead of the curve. They keep doing that, like playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. Good analogy. It's because they get the tech and the regulations. They're not reacting. They're anticipating. Makes you wonder what they'll do next. But, you know, for all this talk of algorithms and profits, they also do some good, right? The philanthropy stuff. Oh, it's nice to see, yeah. In finance, it's cutthroat, but they take social responsibility seriously. Big donations, especially during COVID and for Ukraine recently. It's like they're saying, hey, we're not just about the money. We want to make a difference, too. And it's not just writing checks. What about their venture capital arm, XTX Ventures? What's that about? So this might surprise you, but XTX Ventures isn't only about finance. They're investing a lot in early stage companies, ones using machine learning, AI, all sorts of fields. No kidding. 
So not just squeezing pennies out of the stock market. Right. They're looking beyond finance, healthcare, logistics, even entertainment. They see the potential for this tech to change everything. Wow. So they're placing bets on the future. And those bets are all about algorithms changing the world. Which kind of brings us back to what we were talking about before. About a new kind of financial giant emerging, like XTX, built on algorithms, operating at a speed and scale that traditional players can't even imagine. It's crazy, right? We think of these huge banks, thousands of employees, decades of history, but XTX is already this influential, and in such a short time, with way fewer people. And that's why their story is so important. It challenges our ideas about power in the financial world. If XTX can shake things up this much, this fast, what happens next? To finance, to everything. Are we going towards a future where algorithms are making all the calls so fast and complicated that we can't keep up? That's kind of exciting and a little scary, don't you think? It definitely shows how important it is to stay informed, to try and understand these forces shaping the world, <laughs> especially when they seem so complex. I think that's a good takeaway from this XTX deep dive. They might be all about high frequency trading, but what they represent matters to all of us. What do you think is the biggest takeaway for our listener with all the stuff they've given us? You know, looking at everything, the biggest thing is XTX's story isn't over. It feels like it's just beginning. Ooh, I like that. Leave them wanting more. Right. right. But seriously, their growth, their ambition, how they push limits, they're not content with just playing the game. They want to rewrite the rules. That's kind of scary, right? They're that good that fast. What's next for them? Million dollar question. You've conquered high frequency trading. You're a global force. What then? Okay, so predictions time. What's your best guess? What's their next move? Well, I don't know about predictions, but looking at what they're doing, I think they're going to blend traditional finance and tech even more. Wait, but they're already tech driven, aren't they? Yeah, but this is different. Look at XTX Ventures. They're not just doing fintech startups anymore. They're in healthcare, logistics, entertainment, all using machine learning, AI. You think they'll use those investments to become more than just a finance company? Exactly. They can build incredible tech and now they're finding new places to use it. That's a big prediction, but yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. And here's the thing. They're good at adapting to regulations, even using them to their advantage. Like becoming an SI. Right. And as tech changes finance, there'll be more regulations. XTX will be ready, probably even shaping those rules. So not just playing the game, but making the rules too. Yep. It makes sense. They get the tech, they get the markets. Regulators will want their input. It's like they're playing on another level. Yeah. Mastering the current rules, but also getting ready to change them. Exactly. And that's what's so fascinating about them. They're always thinking ahead, adapting. This whole thing's been eye-opening for sure. I feel like we've just scratched the surface. Me too. They've probably got more surprises coming. Well, we'll definitely be watching. Who knows what they'll do next? Some big innovation, some power move. It's going to be interesting, that's for sure. Finance is changing fast. For sure. Well, that's about all the time we have for our deep dive into XTX markets. Hope you all found it interesting. It was great digging into this with you. Thanks for joining us. And until next time, keep on diving deep.